Okay, um, so we have two vertices. We have a vertices zero comma um, positive five and zero comma negative five. And we also know it passes through the point four comma two, which I saw you right up there, can read as, as our x and y coordinate. And then also we know that this goes through the center zero, zero. So the first thing, if you remember my steps, the first thing you always want to do is determine is are we going to have something that's going to be dealing with a uh, horizontal major axis, axis or a vertical major axis. So what I'm going to do to determine that is I'm just going to plot what we have. So I know my vertices lie on our major axis. So since my two vertices are um, 0, positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 0, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I know that I have, um, I know that now I have a, or a uh, vertical major axis, right? So it's going to look something like that. And that also tells me I'm going to use x minus h squared over b squared plus um, y minus k over a squared equals 1. I'm also going to use that formula. All right. Now, thankfully, our center is 0, 0. So I know that I can plug in 0, 0 for h and my k. Uh, let's just do this actually below. So let's write it actually the points we know. Since we remember the distance from our center to our vertice as a distance of a. So therefore, I know a is equal to 5. So a squared is 25. Um, I have a coordinate point, 4 and 2. So therefore, I know that my, uh, uh, I know that my ellipse is going to go through the coordinate point when x equals 2, x equals 4, and y equals 2. And I know my center, which is h and k, is going to be 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in all these numbers. So for here, I can write in a 4 minus 0 squared over b squared plus y, which is 2, minus k, which is 0, squared over 5 squared equals 1. See what I did? So I just, everything I did, I just plugged it in. And now I'm going to simplify it. So obviously 4 squared gives me, let's move over here, 16 over b squared plus 4, because 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 squared is 4, over 25 equals 1. So to make this problem fun, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to solve for b squared. So to do that, let's subtract 4 25ths. And I get 16 over b squared is going to be um, equals 21 over 25. 1 minus 4 25ths, right? Change this to 25 over 25. 25 over 25 minus 4 over 25. Got me? Side equals 20 over 25. Now, to solve for b squared, I gotta get it off the bottom. So I multiply by b squared on both sides. That cancels out. And um, then to get rid of this, I'm gonna multiply by, um, so therefore I have b squared times 21 over 5 equals 16. So 16 equals 21 over 25 times b squared. So now, to get my b squared all by itself, I'll multiply by the reciprocal, which is 25 over 21 times 25 over 21. All right. So therefore, b squared equals, got letters over here, equals, let's do 25 times 16 equals 400. divided by 21, and um, so now when I just look at, now I have my b squared. So when I look into finding the, uh, the final answer, I just have, or my final formula, 
I'm just going to have x squared plus y squared over b squared, which is 400 over 21, plus y squared, which is 25. Math equals 4. And that's your answer. Crazy, right? Crazy number, but that's the way it works.